Any it's good, it's worth it. $99. What kind is it? Ryobi. Is it gas powered or how it's does it battery. work? Oh, it's battery powered? Cool. We made it to Lake Georgetown. Um, we're actually at Jim Hogg park um it's part of lake georgetown in georgetown texas um we don't have the awning up right now because it's windy and believe it or not it's pretty cold now too it's probably in the upper 50s which is unusual for um for this time of year um uh, just want to show some scenery it's real pretty here um lake levels are still pretty low but we were here last summer and it's not quite as low as it was last year um paul used the new uh the new chainsaw, his little battery powered chainsaw earlier, cut some wood. We just got here about maybe 30 minutes ago, so we haven't really set up too much, but um, Lake Georgetown comes with a, um, a picnic table with a canopy, and the lots are pretty spacious as well. So, oh, I got this, uh, this new map. We haven't been to a lot of states in our RV, but we've been to a few, and uh, I'm about to start cooking dinner. I'm gonna make some chili tonight so i'm gonna come in and make some chili and then uh and then we'll go from there i can live my all right so tonight we made chili for dinner just a basic chili um ground beef beans diced tomatoes and um some tomato sauce and the way I like to make my chili is I actually like to do a Frito pie so first thing I do is I'm gonna grab some Fritos and this is a Texas thing you guys can argue if you tell me your state does it too I'm just gonna put a little bit of Fritos in the bottom I like to put the cheese under the meat and chili um, Paul likes to put it over but I like my cheese melted so um, the cheese in and then I'm just gonna throw some chili on top of this so that all of this can just melt and be super delicious happy st. Patrick's Day from catching miles cheers cheers Good morning, it's Heather and Paul on a really cold <laughs> Texas morning. Um, it's the end of spring break here in Texas and um, it's normally warm. Um, we're at camp, what are, where are we? We're Jim at Hogg Jim, Park. that's right, Jim Hogg Park, part of Lake Georgetown. And this is a campground fairly close to our home. Um, we really enjoy coming out here. We're going to go on a hike this morning, um, pretty long. We're going to go out about two hours, test out our jet boil with some freeze-dried meals, and then uh, come back. So we'll give you guys some footage along the way and see how it goes. <laughs> I found the 
is blending in with another crowd When things go wrong, well past the blame around Cause I can't lay awake For someone else to say I can live my life Hey guys, um, so we've been hiking almost three miles now and I'm like, man, we're in Texas. It's blue bonnet season um, and I hadn't seen any blue bonnets. So I'm gonna show you guys what we just came across. This is what I've been waiting for on this hike so far. It's so beautiful. There are blue bonnets all up in that field. Blue bonnets here. Let me get a close up so you guys can see them. It's illegal to pick them and they only last a few weeks, but they are definitely beautiful. Hey guys, um, we made it to our halfway point. Um, Paul is getting ready to start up the jet boil. We're having, um, we're gonna have this chili mac. What is it? Chili mac spicy sauce with macaroni, beef and beans. And it's from Mountain House. So we are just shy of four miles in and um, we're a little hungry. <laughs> so we're going to, uh, we're gonna try this meal. We'll let you know how it is. If you guys have a favorite meal that you enjoy, let us know in the comments. So guys, I just wanted to to say like we really enjoy hiking and you know, we're just starting our our video or YouTube um, journey. It's uh you know, we're just doing it for fun. If we get a lot of subscribers, that would be great, but if you enjoy watching our videos or you think there's something else that we should post, let us know. One thing that was pretty cool for us um, is we did a video recently down in South Texas and for some reason it's getting a lot of views and 
Paul doesn't even know this, um, but Paul, guess what? We hit 200 views. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we are excited. So if you like our content, please like and subscribe our channel. Um, we're just um, a married couple. We've been married for about 14 years. We really enjoy hiking adventures and we do um, RV adventures. We go on tent camping adventures. We fly um, via air travel. So we will take you along on our journeys. finished our hike <laughs> it was tired we definitely need to work out a little bit more <laughs> um, so just a little bit about Lake Georgetown and the campgrounds around it um, there is a trail that goes around the whole lake it's about 26.2 miles today we did an out and back from Jim Hogg campground to uh, Overlook Park I believe and it was just about seven and a half miles round trip couple of call outs and points. Um, it's definitely a rocky trail. So if you do this hike over here, I would recommend some really good hiking shoes or boots. Um, also, um, just bring plenty of water. Um, even on a cooler day like today, um, you still need to hydrate. Have a great day. We're going to head back to the campground and um, we'll see what else is on our plate for today. Someone else to say. I can live my
blending in with another crowd When things go wrong, we'll pass the blame around Alright guys, well we're wrapping up another fun weekend. Um, we had a great time here at Lake Georgetown this weekend. Um, it was just a weekend trip. Um, we're very excited that we're gonna be able to do this full time starting in a few months. But for now, we just have to enjoy those weekends when we can. Um, Lake Georgetown, it was really cool. Um, well, there was recently an ice storm and um, unfortunately it caused a lot of branches and trees to um, to break off. Um, this is a, a campground that normally does not have free firewood, but because of all of the downed trees, we were able to gather and, and use any of the trees that were down. Um, we had that meal yesterday on our hike. It was from Mountain House. And man, I just want to say they did it right with that chicken fettuccine. Um, we weren't a big fan of the chili mac, but the chicken fettuccine was great. So if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, um, more adventures from us.